Hey guys, Lisa Callagy here to share with you a video on how to create a checkpoint group session using a existing built test in Stubby Island. All right, so let's get started. I am logged in here as a teacher and <clears throat> coming over to the main menu on the left hand side, I'm going to scroll down and choose class manager. This is going to list the classes that I have rostered. I'm going to select the class that I would like to assign this group session to. Social Studies, Section 302. I'm going to come down uh, to Class Assignments, come over to the Add Assignment green button, select that. Selecting the second tab, Group Session and then selecting create assignment under the first choice called checkpoint. All right, so uh, we have three tabs to go through here to create our checkpoint assignment group session. Our first tab is general info, and we need to start with filling in the title of our assignment. Now I'm just going to put checkpoint here uh, until I can copy and paste the title of the built test that I'm going to assign to this group session. So coming down, uh, I have some options here to show or hide the question. So if I want my students to see the question on their device, I will make sure that this show question button is selected. If I would like the question to be hidden, therefore I would be projecting the question from my teacher station onto a whiteboard so the students can then read the question from a one location in the classroom and then the answer choices would be would be on their devices then they could choose the correct answer the high question uh, feature here is um, available and it says that it's advantageous for students that are using smaller devices. So if that's the case, click hide question. Next, you're asked where you would like the content to be selected from for this checkpoint group session. Here's where I will be clicking built test library since I will be choosing an existing built test. Notice when I select built built test library that this slider then becomes grayed out. So um, only practice topics in Study Island are available for this slider to be activated. And that is if you want to choose your own questions in the practice topics, or if you would like Study Island to select the questions for you randomly in the topic of your choice that you assign to this checkpoint group session. All right, so once I've made my selections here, I'm going to click on next assignment options, which also coincides with the tab at the top. Now I'm going to select my program. This is a fourth grade class. And then I'm going to select my subject, math. Next, I'm going to select created by others. If I did have a built test created by myself, I would ha have it listed here. Instead, I have built tests created by someone else. Um, if there is anyone in your school that has created a test, a built test, and they shared it with your school, you would see it here and who created it. And then you also have the district built assessments that you can choose. I'm going to choose a district built assessment. I'm going to select that by clicking on the button to the left of the title of the built test. And then I'm going to copy and paste the title of this built test and tab back over to the first general info tab to paste that here in the assignment title. So I know exactly what built test I am 
assigning to this checkpoint group session. And now I'm going to go back to the next button, make sure I have the correct build test selected. Also, for your information, if you'd like to see what this built test has, what topics the questions come from in Study Island, clicking on the green button to the right of the title will show you the topics. And then if you'd like to view the built test, you can preview it by clicking on the magnifying glass. Coming down and next to classes, you can assign this checkpoint group session to other classes as well from this page or just keep your original test um, class selected. Clicking on save, you have the ability to start the session right away, save and exit to start later, or if you change your mind, you can go ahead and cancel the entire session. I'm going to save and exit. That brings me back to this page where you will see from your class assignments, there is a group session assigned to your students. My next video will show you how to run that group session checkpoint from both the teacher and student perspective. I hope this helps guys. Have a great day.